Okay, for this trek into DIY tech, we're doing this outside today. <laughs> so you know I love you guys, because it's hot. This trek into DIY tech, we're gonna answer a question that comes up a lot. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it's the same for drones that are this big, drones that are this big, and <laughs> drones that are that size. Uh, so it, it affects all of them. So uh, interesting thing, right? So how, how does something like this turn? Okay, almost forgot. <laughs> the comments are gonna blow up, I'm sure, if uh, I don't put this out there. I am a part 107 pilot. These drones are registered when we fly them with the FAA, of course. And we also have a remote ID capable ground station and remote ID capable modules in the drones. Okay, now let's continue. How does something like this turn without having there's no tail rotor like you have on uh, on a helicopter, right? So we well, have these four blades and they're in the same plane, right? So you're thinking, uh, how does this thing turn? So if you have that question, uh, yeah, we're gonna take a look at that today. So one of the biggest things when you're putting one of these things together is you have to have a stiff frame. So if you're looking at this thing, what does that mean, right? So you, uh, if I lift up this, if I lift up this motor, you should be able to lift up all three legs that, and have it rest on that corner leg without the rest of them touching the floor, touching the ground. So as you can see there, that's what we have, right? So what that, that means is that you can apply a force to this motor and it'll affect the rest of the frame. So you're gonna see why that's important in a second. So this motor should be able to lift up on this corner, that motor should be able to lift up on this corner and so forth. So they should all be able to do that independently. So what happens sometimes people have a lot of problems with, you see this, <laughs> this drone here has this very cool hinge that allows you to make this drone more compact, right? So when you open it up, you have, now you have your, your quad, your quadcopter frame. What tends to happen is you, there's a loose screw in one of these, one of these hinges. Uh, the hinge itself, the mechanism that locks the hinge itself is, is loose. Any one of those things can cause vibrations and or forces not being applied properly on those sides. And so you wind up with a lot of issues. But now, having said that, let's go take a look at how the the yaw motion actually happens on a drone or, or the turning of it happens. So if you're thinking about how the motors turn, you always see these or let's let's go to these. So these turn in a counterclockwise motion. These turn in a clockwise motion. So why is that? The reason for that is anytime you have one of these motors turning, the mass and the prop, as they're turning this way, is going to cause a force or a net force in the opposite direction. So it's like you're, you're throwing something that way and it's pushing you this way. So that's what you've got going on there. So you've got that one doing that, this one doing this, while at the same time, this one's doing this and this one's doing this. So all four of them are going at the same speed, applying the same force, they both cancel out, right? So you don't have any motion this way. Now, you wanna go in that direction. You spin these two, so you wanna stay in the same, yeah, at the same level, right? So you make these two go faster and you slow down this one and this one a bit. So the net force pushing up is the same, but 
that torque that you're applying now, that motor is pushing this way, that net torque is going to go this way. So you're going to wind up with a yaw going counterclockwise. And so if you reverse that and you spin these two up, you slow these two down, you're going to have that net, that net torque going that way. And so your whole drone is going to spin in that direction. So <laughs> I hope so. And again, that's the reason that you want a nice uh, stiff frame so that when those forces are applied at the tips of these motor arms or booms, whichever one terminology is being used, uh, when the force is applied on the tip of that arm, that it's applied uniformly by all four motors or four eight or whatever configuration you have, uh, that force is applied uniformly everywhere and then the flight controller can have you know positive control of of the motion of the drone so anyway hope that helps <laughs> and i'm gonna get out of this heat and get these batteries out of this heat if you like these videos please like subscribe and share that way the algorithm will push us up you know how that one works <laughs> and we'll be able to make more videos for you guys uh so as always Appreciate the time you spend with me. We'll see you in the next video.